and I'm filming this video to give you the good news. Uh, this is Washington DC and this is the view from my window. It looks spectacular. So I'm about to go to a training and before heading there, I wanted to film this video. I managed to buy this Canon M50 with the road mic. It cost me a lot. Uh, I mean, altogether it was, it turned out to be $900 or something. It was huge money for my budget at this time. However, I want to talk about today is the power of investing in yourself. So, uh, I mean, when you make it, you come from a scarcity place. I felt that I was coming from a scarcity place that, oh my God, I've worked so hard to make this money and whether if I'm going to make this money by doing what I'm loving to do, what I do, like filming videos and etc. But then later on, I realized that uh, this is my dream and I have to invest in my dream and it can have, uh, and it's something like forever and it can uh, give me uh, the benefits of uh, way more than that I'm spending. So then I went to buy this beautiful book, which is here, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This one is actually uh, the um, classic version, 1937 version of Napoleon Hill. Looks like a Bible, but I mean, it deserves it deserves the money. It was $22. I got that one. And then I went to get this book, which is highly recommended to read, Napoleon Hill, Outwitting Devil. Two books I invested in myself. I invested in the camera. I invested in the road mic, which I'm using right now. I invested in a $50 another mic, which you're putting here. Uh, maybe indoors, that would be better. I just bought that. I was like in this buying state and they gave me this plug for the phone where I can use it with my phone, uh, any microphone that I have to plug it in. So my goal is now I'm gonna get an iPhone X S, the last one, so to be able to film with that. And lastly, I will get an iPad for $300. And that will be all my money that I was supposed to spend here. I'm cutting on food. <laughs> but but this is something I need to do if I want to build something proper, a proper business, you know, um, a proper, uh, a professional looking uh, consulting business or whatever, if I want to give advice to people, if I want to create my program, be it teaching English, or be it uh, teaching personal development and helping people to uh, become better version of themselves and uh, helping people uh, to, uh, let's say, um, overcome their insecurities, anxieties, and to set goals and become high achievers. And my next video will be titled The uh, Five Steps to Achieving Anything You Want to Achieving Your Goals. And this is a really cool video because I've been reading a lot Napoleon Hill, I've been reading a lot Transurfing Reality, and I've been reading a lot, you know, Setting Goals, Achieving Your Dreams. And like I recapped everything and like used with my own experience uh, what are the five steps using you can get to your goals you know what should you do like and, and you can get anything so apparently to recap everything the goal is like this first you have to be able to set goals and this means that 99% 9.9% 9 .9 people if you go and ask them like let's say do you want to be rich they would say yes but uh, did they set that goal and, and setting goals is like number one key or let's say um, a lot of people want to be successful they think they do but in fact they don't because you ask you go out and ask 10 people what is their goal that they've put to themselves that they're working on and they don't really have a goal I mean you might think about you might want something but that's not necessarily a goal and uh, if you want to set goals if you want to be successful you have to uh, precisely find what drives you, what makes you passionate and what, make, what wakes you up every morning and you just want it, you know, find that fire. So that's the goal if you find that fire. And the second is thinking about your goals. That's like very important that uh, you set your goal, that's not it. You have to be able to be thinking about your goal like every day 
uh, or every second even, if, that's, if you have the fire, if you have the passion, after setting that goal, you have to constantly think about that goal, you know, make plans, just think, you know, that's like really important, the most important thing. The third one, when you think about your goal, is you have to plan your goal, like, let's say, and, and the plan should be like, there is this thing called smart goals. Plan should be like very specific and you have, you can break down your goal into like smaller chunks and then you have to have a time frame that, okay, I want to achieve this goal by, by a year, by two years or like break it down. I have to, I want to achieve the first step of that goal in a year and then the second step of that goal in, in two years and then in three years, I want to get to my goal. So third one is plan and Take action. Take action is important because sometimes you don't really know how you're going to do it. But if you just do one thing and then do another thing, which is towards that goal, you'll see now other doors are opening and you'll see how you can uh, get your goal. Plan four, it's the most important one. It's one of the most important. Four and five, I think it is the most important one that makes like difference between getting to your goal or not getting. Plan four, is, step four is visualizing your goal and simulating your goal like acting as if you already received received achieved that goal like let's say you want to be a millionaire act like a millionaire how would a millionaire walk how would a millionaire talk to people network with people uh, or if you want to be successful in your in your business or in your work act as if you're already a successful person wake up like him eat like him talk like him negotiate like that successful person right it's very important because our subconscious mind does not understand uh, like the future or past. You can project future by living in the future right now, being the person which is who is successful person right now, and then you will attract that success. Because you know, as we talked about, uh, your goals, you know, has to be within your comfort zone for you to achieve that goal. Anything out of your comfort zone is not. Uh, achievable so if you want to be successful with women it's like being successful with women has you have to push your comfort zone that being successful with women is within your comfort zone if you want to be successful with like becoming a millionaire or like anything being successful in your business it has to be within your sex within your comfort zone for you to achieve that goal so by simulating future like acting thinking of yourself as that successful person you're actually projecting it to your life you're like attracting it that's very key and the last one which is like the key the absolute key because without it none of them are possible is letting it go so that's like very controversial to what I've been saying until right now. But if you pay attention, any goals in your life, if you think about your goals, right? You want to be, uh, let's say, you want to get into that university, get that job or something. If you attach emotional uh, connection to that, it's like, oh, if you've been thinking about it and crying, oh my God, if only I could get that goal. If only I could, you know, get that job. If you've been if you've been thinking like oh my god it would have changed my life and being attached to that you would never get that you know like if you're crying over something and it's like, I want it so much no that's impossible or or like imagine you want to get a girl right and then you put her on a pedestal like oh my god she's such an angel if only she could be mine no matter how successful you are no matter who you are how good looking you are, if you put her on a pedestal she will run away from you if you put money on a pedestal like oh i want to get that money oh if i if only i could have it's gonna run away from you or like anything any goal you put it on a pedestal it's going to run away from you so the only thing to get that goal to goal or to get that money or to get that goal is letting it go like thinking okay if I get this goal, it would be good for both of us, right? I'm gonna bring value, you know, having money is going to help me, help others, and etc. If not, it's okay, I have other options as well. If you're like not needy, the same with human relations. If you're not needy in your relationship, if like the other person wants you more than you want it, then you're gonna get it. So finally, you have to be able to let it go, right? If I have it, that's perfect. I would appreciate it, I would love it. I would like, you know, cherish it if i don't it's okay as well i don't mind like i'm i'm already abundant coming from an abundant place that five the fifth point like changed my life completely i realized what i was doing wrong so far with setting goals and going towards my goals like and i understood the moments when i achieved my goals when i didn't so the difference made 
if the goal is within my comfort zone, if I believe that I could achieve it, like, oh, simple, like, if I don't get it, it's going to be B, right? If I believe that that happened, and number two, if I let it go, it's like, okay, I want to, like, I got the best job that I could have in Azerbaijan, right? And the only reason I got it because I said, okay, fine. If I get it perfect, if I don't, it's still fine because I know that my comfort zone is in, is within the limits of this kind of job jobs and I can get it. Like, if not, I'm going to still be successful in what I'm doing. So focus on these five steps. Number one is set goals that drives you, makes you passionate, makes you wake up every morning and feel inspired. Number two, think about your goals constantly like every day every second like think about it how you're gonna do it what you want and etc just keep it in your mind that's very key number three is plan and take action build the right habits of a successful person like of what you want to come what you want to do plan and act act every day because the other opportunities will even if you don't know what you're going to do just take action you'll meet the right people you'll see the right doors and etc number four visualize simulate reality as if you're already that successful person and etc number five is let it go come from an abundant frame it's okay if it doesn't happen because other things may happen you're already there you're already abandoned if it happens perfect cherish it appreciate if it doesn't just don't be attached to it don't be attached to it and it's gonna come to you if you don't come from any place it's gonna happen thank you so much I talked a lot and this was just my ideas what I'm going to do and see you in my next videos cheers